Hello and welcome to the 16 tutorial on the Swift programming series and in this part we're going to look at functions. Functions basically allow code to be grouped together and only run when the function is called. The function can also be called several times which is pretty cool. Now here we're just going to implement a simple example of a function. Let's just open this up. So what we're going to do is just do func. That's the keyword that you need to use for function. I'm just going to call it print function and this is going to print a line and then print lm and inside we're going to put function has been called so just something really really simple I'm going to do var i equals 8 and if i equals 8 then the function will be called. And to call the function, you specify the function name and then you put open and close bracket. In the next tutorial, we're going to look at function parameters which go within here. And if the function has parameters, then you need to specify value for those parameters. But as the function doesn't, we can just call it like this. So if you run this, it has the print line that says function has been called in my thing. Okay, I could have just done this one print line. But the thing is, what if I want to call this several times? And what if there's quite a lot going on here? Maybe this is some sort of custom mathematical function and you don't have to be repeating that complex code over and over again and you've got it working. And when you're copying and pasting it or you're writing it out several times, yeah, there's human tendency to make mistakes when you do it several times. So doing it in a function is is good uh, simply but one thing to note is you need to have the function declared and implemented before you call it so if I put it after this if then and then run it we'll get build fail because use of an unresolved identifier print function it doesn't exist essentially along so it's uh, basically it's the same as a variable if I were to put I yeah, you'll say I oh, know it doesn't exist, and in no fairness, it doesn't because it wasn't declared and implemented until after it was essentially used. So that's it for this tutorial. The next tutorial, we're gonna look at function parameters. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at solnasystem.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on the vi on this video or directly message us via YouTube. Also, all the required links for the source code will also be in the description. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.